Hello everyone. We are looking at the paper one computer science June 2024 preliminary material. In this material we get a skeleton program and a data file which we are going to be looking at and talking about. Now let's take a look at this queue simulator. The skeleton program accompanying this preliminary material simulates a queue in a shop. When the simulation runs buyers arrive at the till at irregular intervals with a varying number of items in their baskets. There is only one queue which is going to be shared by all the tills. So it's going to be one line, one, one queue. So uh, if there are three tills, it does not mean that there are going to be three queues be standing behind those tills. It's just going to be one queue and based on which till is going to be free, the customer is going to go to that particular available till. That's going to be the scenario. The buyer arriving joins the queue and whenever a till becomes free, the buyer at the front of the queue leaves the queue and gets served at the till. The skeleton program allows the user to choose how long to run the simulation for and how many tills to have in the operation. At the end of the each time unit, the program outputs the state of the tills and the queue. Running the simulation using a default setting, figure one shows, which is this one, shows the output at the end of the time, unit zero, when the first buyer arrived with eight items in their basket and as they were free tills. Buyer one was served straight away at till number one and did not need to queue. Till one has its time busy increased by one. Time busy has been increased by one. Till number two not serving. So the tills time idle is increased to one. The time it takes to serve buyer's basket is calculated from the number of items in the basket. Figure two shows the output at the end of the time unit five. Buyer five arrived, but, but till one is still busy with buyer three and till two is busy with buyer four. So buyer five joined the queue and at the end of the time, uh, this time unit has waited one time unit with two items in their basket. Figure three over here shows the output at the completion at the end of the simulation. The average queue length is calculated taking into account only the time units when there is a queue of one or more buyer. The simulation program makes use of the data, the simulation text file, which contains rows of data of the format D colon N, where D is the number of time units to elapse before the next buyer arrives with a basket of items. N is the number of items in the basket. For example, first row of the data file contains one colon eight or one is to eight. This means at the first time unit, the first buyer arrives with eight items in their basket. The second row of the data file contains one is to five. This means one time unit later from the first buyer, the second buyer has arrived with five items in their basket. So that is what this paper is about. 